Decoding Portuguese Verbs Your Gateway to Fluent Communication Part 2 Types of Verbs and Their Infinitive Forms Olá amigos, como estão? Hi friends, how are you? This video is the second part of the Decoding Portuguese Verbs series. In the previous introduction video, we learned what a verb is, how it tells the action in the statement, and how we conjugate it with the subject or pronoun. If you have yet to watch that video, I recommend that you scan that video first. The link is in the description. In this video, we will discuss the types of verbs and their infinitive forms in detail. This video covers what are the regular verbs, what are the irregular verbs, what are the modal verbs, how they play an essential role in expressing ourselves in Portuguese, auxiliary verbs in Portuguese, AR, ER and IR verbs in Portuguese, what is the infinitive form of the Portuguese verb and how they help us learn Portuguese faster. Let's start. Vamos começar. Let's identify the verb from the statement first. Ela trabalha no escritório. She works in the office. Here, trabalha is a verb. The infinitive form of this verb is trabalhar. When it conjugates with the subject or pronoun, that is ela here, which means she, in the simple present tense, it tells about the daily activity. Here, ela changes the form of the infinitive verb trabalhar to trabalhar. This is called the verb conjugation in Portuguese. Nos estudamos português. We study Portuguese. Here, the verb is estudamos. The infinitive form of the verb is estudar. When it conjugates with nos, that is we, in simple present tense, it changes the form to estudamos. Ela dança todos os dias. She dances every day. Here, dança is a verb and its infinitive form is dançar. With ela, its conjugation form is dançar. And so, ela dança Todos os dias. Como mangas? Do you eat mangoes? Here, como is the verb. There is not any pronoun visible here. It is because usually when speaking Portuguese, pronouns are omitted. And the verb conjugation form suggests the pronoun. Here, the como is the conjugation of the verb comer to el, he, or el, si, or você, you in more formal way. So we can say here the statement may ask, does he eat mangoes or does she eat mangoes or do you eat mangoes? That means, ela come mangas, ela come mangas or você come mangas. At least there are three possibilities of this statement and it depends on the context. But here we assume that do you eat mangoes? Você come mangas? Or simply we can only say come mangas? Eu não bebo vinho. Here, bebo is the verb and its infinitive form is beber. When it conjugates with you, that means I, it changes its form to bebo. And the word now in front of the verb makes the sentence negative. Eu não bebo vinho. Remember, to make the statement negative, just put now in front or before the verb. Escrevo o meu diario. Here again, the pronoun is omitted. The verb is escrevo. And the infinitive form is escrever. When it conjugates with you, which means I, it changes to escrevo. That suggests that the subject is you, that is, I in English. El serve comida. Here, serve is a verb. The infinitive form of this verb is servir. 
and with L it changes the form to servo. Abro a janela. Here again the subject or the pronoun is omitted. The verb is abro, which infinitive form is abrir. And when it conjugates with you, that is I in English, it changes the form to abro. So we know that subject is I. Eu abro. I open. Now we already know how to identify the infinitive forms of the verb. Trabalhar is the infinitive form of trabalha. Or we can say the infinitive form of verb trabalhar changes to trabalha when it conjugates with L. Similarly, estudar is an infinitive form and changes to estudamos when we conjugate it with nos. And dansar is also an infinitive form and it changes to dansa when we conjugate it with L. If you noticed here, all these three verbs end with AR. Trivlar, Istudar, Dansar. Let's see the conjugation of these verbs with EO. That means I. EO, Trivalio. I work. EO, Studo. I study. EO, Danso. I dance. What are the similarities here? The first, they all end with AR and they all have the same pattern of conjugation. If we remove the last AR and then add O, it is now the conjugation form of the verb with EU. And we can say EU trabalho, EU estudo, EU danço. We will discuss them in detail later on, but for now, just remember that these verbs follow the same pattern of conjugation, and so are the regular verbs. Regular verbs follow the same patterns. All of these end with AR, thus this group of verbs are called AR verbs. We will see the examples of 50 AR verbs later in this video series. But for now, remember, all of these verbs follow the same pattern. That means, if you learn the conjugation pattern of one verb, then you can conjugate all of the verbs of this group. Now, let's see the other three verbs. Kumer is the infinitive form of the verb kom, Or we can say that when we conjugate the verb kumer with L, it changes the form to the other verb beber is a verb in infinitive form and when we conjugate it with the pronoun you it changes its form to bebu and so the verb is craver. If you noticed here all three verbs end with er kumer, beber and scraver. Let's see the conjugation of these verbs with two that means you. Tu comes, tu bebes, tu escreves. What are the similarities here? They all also follow the same pattern or rule of conjugation. If we remove er from the infinitive form of the verb and add es, it is now the conjugation form of the verb with tu. And now we can say tu comes, tu bebes, to scrivish. Like the AR verbs, these verbs also follow the same pattern to conjugate with subject or pronoun, and thus they are called regular verbs. They all end with ER and so are called ER verbs in Portuguese. We will also discuss about the rules or patterns of ER verbs in detail with examples later in this video series. For now, just remember that ER verbs also follow the same pattern and are the regular verbs. Now we see the last two examples, servir and abrir. Servir is in the infinitive form. When we conjugate it with L, that is C, it changes the form to Sherv. 
and the avrir does the same. Now let's see the conjugation of both verbs with alles. That means they. Alles servein. Alles avrein. What are the similarities here? Both verbs also follow the same pattern or rule of conjugation. If we remove IR from the infinitive form of the verb and then we add EM, it turns into the verb conjugation form to conjugate with ALS, that is they, and we can say ALS servai, ALS avrai. Like the AR and ER verbs, these verbs follow the same pattern and so they are also regular verbs. As they end with IR, these verbs are called IR verbs in Portuguese. We will also discuss the rules or patterns of IR verbs in detail with examples later in this video series. So what are the regular verbs now? You have a clear idea of it. A group of verbs that follow the same patterns to conjugate with pronoun or subject are the regular verbs. AR verbs, ER verbs and IR verbs are regular verbs. What are AR verbs now? We already know that AR verbs are a group of verbs that are regular, that is, they follow the same pattern and their infinitive form ends with AR. For example, falar to speak, jogar to play and estudar to study. What are ER verbs now? ER verbs are a group of regular verbs that follow the same pattern and their infinitive form ends with ER. Example, comer, to eat, beber, to drink, and so on. What are the IR verbs? IR verbs are a group of regular verbs that follow same pattern and their infinitive form ends with IR. Example, servir, to serve, abrir, to open. Remember, more than 90% of Portuguese verbs are regular and they are either AR, ER or IR verbs. What are the irregular verbs now? All the verbs that do not follow any specific pattern and have their own unique conjugation form are irregular verbs. There are many very important verbs that do not follow any patterns. They have their unique way of conjugations. We have already seen the conjugation of ser verb that does not follow any pattern. Although this verb ends with er, this is not the er verb because this verb does not follow the er verb pattern. Some other examples of irregular verbs are star to be, ter to have, dar to give, and ir to go. There are many more irregular verbs. Here, you see verbs ser and ter ends with er, but they do not follow the pattern of er. For example, beber, yo bebu, comer, yo como. They follow the same pattern, but ser, yo so. Ser does not follow the pattern that beber and comer follow. Similarly, the verb dar ends with er, but does not follow the conjugation pattern of ar verb. For example, falar yo falo, samar yo samo, but dar yo do. It does not follow the pattern that other AR verbs follow. Similarly, the verb ir does not follow the pattern of the IR verb. For example, servir yo servo, avrir yo avru, but ir yo vo. Thus, ser, ter, dar and ir are irregular verbs. We will discuss irregular verbs with examples in detail later in this series. For now, you can find 30 irregular verbs and their conjugation with an example of each verb in the video that is mentioned in the link below. You can go to that video and you can see 30 irregular verbs and their conjugation. We can define different types of verbs by their usage or contextual use. Modal verbs are one group of verbs that typically help action verbs to express speciality. What are the modal verbs? Modal verbs are verbs that express possibility, 
necessity or ability. Puder is a good example of a modal verb. Puder means can or the ability to do something. Eu posso falar English. I can speak English. Here, the verb posso expresses the ability of the subject to speak English. Querer is another modal verb that normally shows desire. Eu quero passar no exam. I want to pass the exam. This verb helps to express the desire to pass the exam. There are dozens of useful modal verbs and they have specific patterns or rules to use. We will see them in detail with examples later in this series. Other types of verbs to consider are transitive and intransitive verbs. It is important to know that either the verb is transitive or not. Transitive verbs require a direct object to use. Without objects, they cannot express the statement clearly. Eu leio un livro. I read a book. Leio is the conjugation form of the infinitive form of the verb ler. This verb generally requires the object. If I say eu leio without the object, then it does not make sense. What did I read? Normally, these types of verbs need the object. What I read? Eu leio un livro. I read a book. Then it makes the sense. Intransitive verbs do not require the direct object. They are self-explanatory. If I say eu durmo, that means I sleep, it makes sense. It does not require the object. We will discuss in detail about these verbs with examples later in this series. Now, let's talk about the auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs are used in combination with main verb to create various tenses, moods, and aspects. Three main auxiliary verbs in Portuguese are ser, to be, estar, to be, and ter, to have. Auxiliary verbs in Portuguese assist the main verb in expressing various grammatical aspects such as tense, mood, aspect, and voice. Auxiliary verbs are crucial in constructing complex verb forms and conveying precise meanings in Portuguese sentences. Remember, the same verb can be an auxiliary in one sentence and the main verb in another. We will discuss in detail the auxiliary verbs and their uses to change the tenses, mood, voice and modality with examples later in this video series. Before I conclude this video lesson, I want to remind you again that verb types can be defined by contextual usage, their nature, conjugation pattern or any other similar behaviors or meanings they have. One verb can fit in different types of group of verbs. Thank you very much for your time. In the following video, we will learn in detail about the AR verbs, their conjugation rules or patterns, and their usage with examples. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you think this video can be helpful for others, please share it. I know you already subscribed to our channel and if not, please subscribe to our channel. To get further series and more videos as they publish, please hit the bell icon. See you on next video.